Hello and welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video introduces Edward Swarvey, the Porter. In 1596, Edward Swarvey whipped John Guy, the future first governor of Newfoundland. They were both servants in the Gloucestershire household of Sir Edward Winter. John Guy managed the ironworks on Edward Winter's estate while Swarthy was a porter. A porter was the first person visitors to the house would have seen in the Tudor times. Swarthy had likely been brought home by Winter after he captained the aid on Francis Drake's Caribbean raid of 1585-1586. Swarvey would have been one of many Africans who fled their Spanish enslavers to join the English. The Spanish slaves knew that slavery did not exist in England. If we have a look at this quote, it says, As for slaves and bondmen, we have none. Swarvey was believed to have been recruited to fight alongside the English during a raid on the Spanish port of Cartagena which is now Colombia. He then returned to England with Winter. He was given his name due to the colour of his skin and also his employer, Edward. Edward Winter ordered Edward Swarthy to flog one of his white stewards, John Guy, in the middle of his stately home in front of all of his staff for misconduct. But what was this misconduct? While the whipping was just one instant in an ongoing feud between the Winters and their neighbours, the Bucks. The Winters wanted the trees in the Bucks' estate as fuel for their ironworks. John Guy had secretly married the daughter of the Bucks and had sneakily tried to go to Ireland with two of the ironworkers to set up his own forge. Pitting a black porter on a higher ranking white member of staff was a dangerous and humiliating punishment. The matter was so severe Edward Winter was taken to court on assault charges. Edward Swarthy was required to appear as a witness to testify. Here are the documents relating to the 1597 case of Buck versus Winter. Edward Swarvey appeared in court as a, winter, as a witness in that year. He confirmed in his testimony that he, a black Tudor, had whipped a white man before a crowd assembled in the Great Hall at Winter's home at White Cross Manor. As you can see, here is a disposition of Edward Swarvey. And this is part of the testimony close up. You can clearly see Edward Swarvey's name and also Edward Winter's name as well and that he is a servant. So what happened to the three men in the story? Well, Sir Edward Winter, who had served on his father's ship in the Spanish Armada, was elected MP for Gloucestershire in 1589. He was knighted in 1595 and he was made High Sheriff in 1598. So this case didn't really affect his career if he went on to be the High Sheriff. John Guy also went on to become a sheriff of Bristol in 1605 and he became the first governor of the Newfoundland colony under James I as you can see on this postage stamp. But what about Edward? Well we don't know what happened to Edward because we don't have any records after the testimony in court but what we do know is that he was clearly respected as a Tudor porter and this case subverts much of what we know about the 16th century. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or follow me at Twitter at LittleMissHistory81 at TanyaRalic38.